You guys have won another Glyph Award recently, uh, multiples for the book, for the project, uh, and it's it's been going on now for three, almost three years. Yeah. And this issue that we're talking about specifically is issue number 31. Mm-hmm. Uh, what sparked this issue specifically talking about smoking and the environment? Was there something personal about the topics that especially brought you back to script this issue in particular? I don't know any people that, like, would if they could do it over again, would continue smoking that smoke now. So um, I think it's a good kind of thing to address brandon how did how did it end up coming about yeah, originally? it was, it was uh, the editor chris robinson's idea and well it was a, a fill-in issue between arcs so kind of a, a an opportunity just to a standalone story as much as it's a nice message a lot of it's kind of a wink to the old after school specials and, and stuff like said it used to be uh more of that stuff in comics so uh how do you kind of bring it into a comic that we're doing that is for all audiences and make it kind of fun and make it kind of cool and then you know but also update it but not be too cute with the message and say oh haha we're just making fun of it so trying to, to get a balance and do something interesting for an issue yeah plus you have the smartest person in the whole world giving us really accurate information about the dangers <laughs> of smoking so it's coming from a place of knowledge but also a lot of fun it was a tough balance because you wanted to do it realistically you wanted it to hit close to home but you, uh, there's also a lot of levity in it. Um, just the way that cartoons are able to handle something that's serious, but can also be fun. 